This video sucks. Let me explain. While I was streaming the finale, I forgot to press the record button, which means I had to rely on the Twitch vault. Except the Twitch vault only recorded the gameplay and not my voice, which means that I shall be doing a recap of what happened. But first, previously on Yakuza, we learned that Bajima was defusing a bomb using his instincts. Then we were met with a very unpredictable outcome. He's still alive and well though. We bought 500k worth of stocks and nearly turned us broke. We beat up the old man. We also beat some people up in the arena. We helped some people with a job interview. I think we nailed it. We learned that Suit Lady and Fireworks Guy are siblings. But it turns out she knew as well. And she sent us to the wrong address. Chapter 16. Decision. We were planning to go to Fireworks Guy. But instead I was told to watch the dirty movie some guy gave me. Which turned out to be some horror shit. Some exorcist arrived very conveniently telling us that we were cursed. Then the guy that gave me the video showed up and said Lamau to our face and ran off again. I needed some money back for no reason so I sold my stocks again with this guy. I made a 200k profit on it though. Since we had money I could afford the exorcist. I felt very safe after this ritual. Then he tried to sell us a rock for 300k and a rock recharger for 500k. When I was about to accept his deal however, the ghost showed up again. And then he outed himself as a scam artist. I would have never known. So he paid us back the 100k and ran off. He also gave us a rock. Thanks Miss Ghost. She did break my dirty video though, which was kind of rude. After the exorcism, I felt confident that we should move on to beat Fireworks Guy. So we said hi to Mr. Detective and bye to the child. Very confidently, we stepped out of the building. And guess who shows up? Not Fireworks Guy. So we beat up this guy. Yeet! And this guy. And don't forget about this guy. We came across a barricade, so the best tool to break a barricade is with a can. Turns out they didn't like me breaking the barrier, so more people showed up. Yeet! Turn this guy to sashimi, same with this one, and this one with some echo force. This guy isn't going to stand up anymore, and this guy wants to look at my fist up close. Yay, new barricade! And more people. Back to chopping we go! This guy probably has a tummy ache now. Of course, can't go with another yeet! We also found a cool hammer, so we bonked this guy. And then this guy really wanted to see the rating, so I showed it to him as well. Oh, and we also bonked him. Who's that character? It's Fireworks Guy! Damn you, barricades! Someone threw a freaking sign at me. So I stabbed him in his belly. Turns out that they made the barricades bike proof, but not machete proof. More people! Chop, chop. What the hell was that? God damn. Bro! <laughs> Oi. And now they're just targeting their own friends. Who let them place all these damn barricades? Who the hell are these two? Ah, this is the leg hugger and the acrobat. Turns out that they combust even when they're not standing. But fire doesn't do well versus bins apparently. Where do they keep coming from? Where is everyone? I bet they didn't mention that Kiryu is a professional baseball player. And when you think you're finally done, the next set of combustible Koreans come barging in. But turns out they're also weak to swords. Why would he run into my hand like that? I figured a watering can works on them as well, since they keep setting themselves on fire all the time. Very effective. Then the game tried to jump scare me by pretending more Koreans would run out. But luckily, there were no- God damn it, you again! Leg sweep, leg sweep. I will hit him one of these days. I- I died. Safe to say that I will approach things differently this time. Leg sweep, another one. That's right, leg sweep. You'll never guess what. Leg sweep. Turns out after four leg sweeps, you feel the heat. I have to say, finally beating his out after so many times felt very satisfying. Kind of wish we threw him off the elevator though. We then met up with this guy at the top, who was selling very convenient items. So I bought the useless ones and decided to not use them, as I've got three pairs of very warm underwear. God damn. Stairs. Oh, Suit Lady and Fireworks Guy. He was also wondering what the plan was here. When Fireworks Guy was about to ask, Suit Lady interrupted him, asking him where Santa was. Thankfully, he only tied up the cripple in the back like a normal person. Fireworks Guy was still very confused as why Suit Lady was here. So then she replied, Lamau, I'm here to arrest you and myself. Then she said she was a sister from another dad. And like every other person, he instantly believed it. But it turns out he didn't really care at all. He just wanted to fight. But first... We get rid of the woman. And as tradition goes, you have to take your shirt off before a fight. Wait, that's not fair. First things first, we have to see if he's real. Inconclusive. A classic little pick him up and throw him away. Followed up by the elbow with some good side steps. And by my own surprise, I pressed all the correct buttons. And since he is Korean as well, he also inherited the spontaneous human combustion trait. Turns out it really didn't matter at all, as he just slowly got punched to his death. Bottled up by kicking the chin. 
and a whole lot of headbutts. Safe to say that this probably hurt us as much as it hurt him. So we're done with the headbutting and just yeet him away. After beating his ass, we apologize to Santa for beating the living shit out of his son. And then when we're about to roll away with Santa, we got hit by the biggest surprise of all. Big man was still alive and he faked everything. Turns out he's been planning to fake his death for 26 years now. Which means, of course, he's also Korean. He talked about revenge and using his people and whatnot. But then I thought he waved at me. Hello. Turns out he was just calling in his buddies, leaving me with crippling depression. After taking three minutes to light and smoke a cigarette, he finally told us why he was here. And that the big thing in the middle was a bomb that could level the entire city. And then he showed us the button that he needs to press. And for whatever reason, that triggered some memories for Kiryu. And he claimed that he saw Big Man 26 years ago, from when he was still in the Korean Mafia. And then Big Man remembers as well. And now I'm wondering how they could never notice until now. Seeing as they've, you know, met a lot of times before. But he still wants to kill me regardless. So here we go. First things first. We want to take out Big Man. Leg sweep. Bam. Fall made him lose his mind. Leg sweep. Bam. And now for the most disgusting thing on the planet. Followed up by heat mode. Bam. Oh. Ooh. It's gotta hurt. Then he stood up only to fall down again. And now we can finally go and pee. Ah! What the hell? I honestly completely forgot about the rat. Then he proceeds to shoot a hole in Santa and shoot the gun out of Suit Lady's hands. Quiz! You could worry about one person at a time. Who would you choose? The old man in a wheelchair that's got a new hole in his arm? Or a perfectly healthy woman who dropped her gun? The correct answer is B! If you picked A here, you're being morally questionable. Count it! The big man had a nice bonding moment with the rat. Turns out he was having none of it. They put some holes in big man, which resulted in big man's butt plug coming out of him as well. Santa had to open his mouth again so he got a new hole. Then the rat proceeds to tell us that he just wanted to feel included. Only for Santa to die, so I guess Christmas is cancelled now. All big man had to do was to pretend to be dead. Instead, he said that he knew there was something missing deep in his heart. So the rat filled it up by putting some lid in it. How is this guy still alive? Turns out he still had the button to make the nuke go off. Cool. Thanks, buddy. Now I have to deal with this shit as well. And then he has the nerve to tell me to trust him. The rat wasn't very amused by it, so he put some more lead in the big man in case he was going to wake up from this. And then Suit Lady had the genius idea of grabbing a stick and run at the guy with the gun. Safe to say she made things very complicated now. Then he aimed to shoot me. But instead of shooting him right there, we took the bullet like a real man. And when we thought we finally got rid of Suit Lady, Fireworks Guy woke up from his nap to absolutely riddle this guy full of holes. Finishing it off with a new brain implant. With a bomb going off in 10 minutes and people's lives being in danger, the only logical course of action is to have another fist fight. And for once, Suit Lady was being reasonable. But given a track record, we were having none of it. So we sent her downstairs. Round 2. Begin. So we start off with a good old punch in the belly with a little breaky of the neck, followed up by blocking a fist with the elbow into a hugging contest. I won. But then this happened. Ow. 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 Stop. My turn. Bam. 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 Joking time. Get lost! Then I decided to bring out the pliers again, and I have to say I did not enjoy the next few minutes. Thankfully the pliers ran out of uh, pliers. So we went with a good old crowbar. Bam! And again! Bam! One more! Bam. I ran out of crowbar, so I went with long pipe instead. Leg sweep! Another one! Last one! Oi. And then it was time to finish him off. I felt really good about this, and I was really feeling the heat. One final charge to finish the deal. And I misclicked instead, so we died. 10 out of 10. So we went again with the pliers, crowbar, and my personal favorite, a long stick and then a moment of truth arrived once again yeah. 
I, in fact, clicked the right button this time around. My god, he's standing up again. And guess who? Suit Lady came back. The fact that she's not out of breath after all those stairs is an impressive feat by itself. Gotta give her some credit once in a while. Fireworks couldn't go without sounding creepy at least once. He seemed very happy that he found out that he has a little sister. Until Suit Lady killed him with stinky breath. And when we were being very emotional with each other, we got kindly reminded by a loud beep that the big man left us with a bomba. Then Mr. Detective showed up in a helicopter with the child, telling us that there's a bomb next to us that's about to blow. Thanks, genius. Imagine I wasn't there to defuse it either, so all I could do is just wait until it blows up, I guess? We told Suit Lady to leave as well, but like every single chapter, she just refuses to combine brain cells and think like a normal person. So I guess we're both going boom. Turns out Kiryu is into that kind of stuff, so sexy time it is. Mr. Detective interrupted sexy time though, so class guy was a real wingman and flew away. Now, I shall leave you with a very annoying beep until boom. Where boom. We got giga -jibated. Turns out the bomb was nothing more than a glorified microwave and doesn't actually explode when it reaches zero. And it also turns out that this wasn't Big Man's butt plug, but the part that makes the bomb go boom. He did say to trust him, but I feel like not pressing the button at all would have made things infinitely better. But after everything that happened, we still have ourselves a good, happy ending. Thank you guys so much for watching Kiwami 2. And I'll see you in the next one. Fly like a beautiful butterfly, fly like a beautiful butterfly.